Here at Tormach, we love sharing our customers' stories. So this is Roger Edberg, who is an industrial artist working in California. I am Roger Edberg. I, I build a lot of prototypes for products that I um, think about, stuff, some stuff for my work. I have inventions that I'm working on. I build that here. I have just um, devices that I build to improve my shop. I can turn around and say I need a light for my lathe, and then I think, oh, how can I do that? And I start thinking of ideas, and um, I get to do what I love to do when I'm in here. So I went over to Santa Cruz Electronics for something. I pretty much dropped my jaw. I saw a milling machine in there. And normally, a milling machine is not something that you find in a retail store. And so you really never see something like that unless you're going you know, to a specialty machine tool supplier or something. I pretty much knew I had to get it as soon as I saw it. I did whatever I could. I could afford it, you know. I mean, it's significant, but it's not like, you know, $100,000. It, 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 was, it was doable for me. This machine fits with about two inches on each side. I had this space, it was already here, and it just happened to fit perfectly. There's nothing saying I can't do it. I, I could have a wild hair idea and just pursue it, and I have the means to do it. So all I have to do is think about how to do it. For example, this, this is a coolant uh, a manipulator that I use. I just thought to myself while I was getting drenched with coolant that it'd be nice to have something I could I could aim from outside of the envelope of the tool, and I just started thinking about ways I could do it. I could run the coolant at the point of the tool. If I'm doing a, taking care of the edge, doing a final cut around the edge, I'll, I'll run the coolant to spray up on the side of the tool. So it's, it's taking those like hair, fine hair cuts off the side and it just washes all that stuff off. This is simply sort of a, um, a part of a scale. And I, I really didn't have to make it look like this to do that, but I. It made it a lot more fun for me. You know, this is another example of a part where I, you know, a, a stiffening structures and, you know, it's probably not really necessary, but that's what I like to do. Make it, you know, try to, try to reduce it so it's, you know, minimum essential materials and it looks like a part you might find on a race car. Tormach was super helpful. You know, I, I, I pretty much always get somebody when I call there that'll, calm me down, walk me through it, um, tell me that, it, you know, so far everything's been okay, I haven't really wrecked anything. They go, oh no, that, that, that's not gonna hurt anything. Go ahead and just reset it up and do this. And back when I first did my first tool path, that was really scary. Like, should I hit the start cycle button? And then you do it and this machine starts moving and you're like, I lived right next to that red button in case something went wrong, but it didn't and it cut it out. And after that, it was just really fantastic. It was, it's like, yes, this works. Um, I still live next to the red button sometimes when I start parts. <laughs> For my position and what I want to do, I, I don't know of anything else like it. You know, I have my manual mill, but you could never make curves and shapes and and you could never do stuff like you can with the Tormach, so it's really opened up a whole different world for me. Thanks for watching. Check out our latest videos here, and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.